Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Overlux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel. Cheers, yakshimash. So we have had a very busy week. Sam was here at the beginning of the week. It is now Sunday. Yesterday we were up to visit George of AG. I put the blog out ages ago. You would have seen that by now. And when I came back uh, from there, I got some. I had something from uh, Rob, which I'll explain in a minute, uh, and these here as well. So there's just been so much going on, the editing and making the movies and programming to put them up. It's been a really, really fantastic week. I really miss Sam. The place seems empty without him buzzing around, doing stuff, doing videos. But he'll be back again soon, so we'll have more uh, collaboration videos coming up with him. So today I want to first of all have a little look at these items that I have here in front of me and um, just to sort of like do a, I want to do a vacuum but just a, a smaller one today so I haven't really decided which one so we're playing it by ear. Oh I love cherry aid. So anyway where do I begin? Let's start with accessories. So yesterday I went up to visit uh, George of AEG123 and then I went to visit our other friends then Rob and Paul and Rob had a spare one of these for my um, free motion so I was really chuffed with that and it's in box, new in box and it is the turbo brush. Now it does look very kind of um, pneumatic-esque in the way that it's, I can see the bristles on it and the set up on it the design is slightly different obviously this is different so it'll fit into the free motion um, wand but that is going to be in a video coming up once I I did we did replace the hose Sam and I did replace the hose on the free motion but it's not uh, a very good one um, because it just keeps pulling back uh, too much on the vacuum cleaner and it just snaps at your ankle, so that's not very good. So I'm just gonna pop this back into its original bag. Pop it back into its original box, which was, there was a sticker on it. Uh, it was bought at Comet. So this was bought in Comet. And this is the J24 Turbo Nozzle. So this is gonna stay be here by, be here, by here for now until I do the video on it. Next we have a spare hose that was just lurking around, so that will always come in handy for something. Here I have a spare base plate given to me from George. This is for the blue DC07 that I have there. This desperately needed a new base plate. Now you would have seen the video that Sam did on it uh, of uh, refurbing it and putting in a new clutch and some other bits and bobs. At this moment of filming this, I haven't seen the video, so I have no idea, but apparently I needed a new one of these, so I got one of these from George. This will go on it. And now we have some machines. Let's just move the hose out of the way. And we have three amazing machines. Now, this one is a Hoover Turbo Power 3. We're stair cleaning, edge to edge. This has got, it's a 1000 watt and it's got a bag full indicator light. If I turn it around, we have got the lovely long stretch hose. We've got its tools, we've got the clip. Uh, there isn't a clip on there, but, uh, oh yeah, there is, yeah, it's there. So that's what you clip on so it doesn't tip over. So pop that back, like so. Now, the model number of this is Hoover Model U2876. U2876507096444 uh, 1000 watts maximum It's got all its tools, it's got everything on it Let's turn it around and open the door Oh and there is a bag inside and there's also a clip And this is the um, logo that goes on the top that's come off so I will stick that on in a second here we have the bag we've got a paper bag here but I will keep this it's not been there's a tiny tiny amount in there 
It's immaculately clean. Sam's already cleaned this up and refurbed it. So what I'm going to do is get a bag for it. Uh, yep, which is one of these fleecy bags. Gorilla Glue. somewhere there it is gorilla glue now I haven't used this gorilla glue yet what's this uh, just a pair of gloves ah, avoid wear gloves to avoid skin contact gorilla glue will stain and ruin clothes Gorilla Glue is cured with moisture. Lightly dampen one surface with water. Do not add water to the bottle. Then glue it, grip it, and what do you call it? Okay, hold on. So I think we do that to twist the top off. Doesn't really have much smell to it. Do I need to wet it for this? Right, okay, hang on a second. I will have to get a little bit of, or, yeah, I'll get a little bit of water. Hang on a sec. So I've got a little bit of water here in a cup. So it says to slightly dampen surface. Damp. Let's get the badge. Let's get the badge match. Got a tiny little mount. On there. Put the badge on. There we go. Leave it on. Gorilla glued. Okie dokie. Pig in a pokey. Let's get this new bag inside it. the bag in because it's a bit big. Make sure the sponges are in right. I'm gonna put in an air freshener. To the side, get the bag door back on. Lovely. Now what I'm going to do, I've got my PowerPoint here, and what I'm going to do is get my electricity meter, and we'll see what it's pulling. Let's plug that in, and let's switch it on. <laughs> sounds amazing so it's pulling 890 watts bristles on it are soft but it's it's immaculate it's in really good condition it just basically needs a little wipe over and a little bit of wax and that'll be fine so let's have a quick over on the floor
Oh, now that is fantastic. I really do love the Turbo Power 2s and 3s. They are very, very good machines. So that is just a quick look at this for the minute. So there we go. Let's pop this down. And you can go over there. Now, this is another one that Sam kindly donated. This is the Dirt Devil, which is basically a rip-off of the Turbo Power, of the um, Contour. Again, there's no pedal release button on this, like one of the Contours I had. This is just friction, so it's very loose, because that was one of their Achilles heels. So what do we have here? We have Dirt Devil. It has variable power. It's got a bag door indicator, one thousand, not a bag door, a bag full indicator, 1,100 watts, adjustable height, like I said, variable power. If we turn it around, it has got, it's missing two of its tools, but I think I might have one, uh, some old contour tools that might fit that. I'm not sure yet, but it does have its double hose at the back. I'll get some tools for it. Slide that in there. So here we have model number WDD6110 blah 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 1100 watts DD042040867 number 078. It's got really nice red caps on it. On and off button is on the side here that you can see. Got a little bit of damage to it, but nothing major. Doesn't have a brush roll in it at the minute, so I need to get a contour brush roll because it, this was used on another one. So I need to get a brush roll for it. But let's open it up. There we go, the bag door comes off. Just needs a little bit of a clean out, a little bit of a wipey wipey, no biggie on that. I'm positive. It will be able to use a pneumatic bag on this. <laughs> and it's red as well, it matches pretty good. Sealed suction, kinda. Perfect, look at that, that fits over really well, really tight into it. Let's make sure it's on underneath as well. Perfect. Bit big, but never mind. That's what they all say, bigger the better. Tuck the bag in. I'm going to start it off on minimum. It's very, very plasticky feeling. Really plasticky. Close the door. Now, let's switch this on and see exactly how much power it's pulling. The cord handle bit here has broken, there's a bit broken off it. No biggie, because I can use some Sugru um, that I have in red to build up a kind of temporary hook for it. Just plug it in. Let's switch it on. actually pulling 1250 watts that uh, could be because there's no belt and brush roll on it because that will put pressure onto the motor um, I think anyway but it's pulling more than what it says so yeah this is a really nice machine I really really like it it's gonna look fantastic um, it just needs a little bit of a cleanup and a brush roll and we will be hunky-dory in getting that fixed and up and running and demonstrated 
I'll see if I can find some tools for it and the brush roll, the bag is now in there and yeah, that's gonna look really nice when we are finished. So let's put this to one side. So they were amazingly from Sam. I'm really chuffed. Thank you so much, Sam. It's very, very nice of you. Let's move this out of the way. Actually, I will keep these gloves in case I need them or something. Okay, next. Now this is yesterday's gift. When I went up to Rob and Paul's. And Rob said, look, I have a spare one of these. It's not in as good condition as the one I have, which is in perfect condition. Um, but I was like, fantastic. No, no problem at all. This is a Hitachi Powerhouse CV 770D, 1000 watts max, powerhouse edge to edge cleaning on it. It is not variable power. It is just an on and off machine. So we do this to open the door. Now there is a bag inside, but unfortunately it's split and it's full of yak. Let's give it a clean out. I'll get it out later. Okay, so that's just his little initial brush up. No, it's still got smell to it. It's not a hoover one. Uh, right, let me just get something. So I got what I was looking for and I had to look for them with these bags. These are Febreze bags that I bought back in the States and these have the same thing for them. Now these are sealed because they're going to be Febreze bags. So I'm going to have to break the seal on them. Oh, they smell really nice. Ah, I didn't realize that. Each one comes with a little air freshener as well. I'm not going to open up the pack of um, I'm not going to open up that yet until uh, the machine has been refurbished. But that's really good. So, 
And let's pop this on. Well, it must do because it's the same size as mine. Huh? Ah. Okay, it is kind of the same size, but there's a little ridge on it. So let's see if I can do this. Cut the little ridge out. I'll possibly fold it back, I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's see what I can do. Well, there's a will, there's a way. See if that helps. Yeah, if you push it in, it's fine. Oh, you little monkey, stay there. Hey, now, let's plug this in. This hasn't been plugged in for a while. Let's switch it on. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Did you see all that dust come out of it? Ugh, hang on. Okay, I definitely think this is going to need an air compressing. Okay, let's try it this way. Definitely needs a new brush roll because the brush roll like you can stop easily. It's quite a quirky nice little machine to be honest. This brush roll, he's got this beta bar pads on it, so let's just give it a quick go, I know it needs a new belt, but let's just give it a quick go. It's actually not a bad machine, I really like it, it's very quirky. Let's pull out the hose and test suction. It's okay, I get it now. Let's try it now.
Well, it's pulling just over a thousand watts, and it operated this really, really well. It's the tangle free turbine, so that was fantastic. I can see it's got a tool here. I'm not really sure how this entirely works, but we'll take a closer look again. There is a one there that fits back, and then this goes over down and then you kind of like twist it in well oh, there's a dusting brush there twist it in and then push it up and tuck it in i really like this machine it's very 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 faded it has gone very very yellow but uh, it needs a new it does need a new cord because that's a cord connector so i'll put a new cord on it we'll give it a really good clean up blast out all the dust from the inside and get a belt for it and I think that is gonna be a lovely little machine I really like it so the bag has stayed on that's all fine no problem at all there and it smells quite nice I'm not going to be doing any form of uh, retro brighting or anything to this because if you can see there see the color it was supposed to be a light gray so um, I'm not going to be doing a full full strip down on this Famous last words. There's a hose though. Ah, right, okay. Uh, we'll definitely take a look at the seals on this door because the seal looks like it's seen better days, but anyway. It looks like it's been used to pick up plaster dust, which has gone all the way through it. Hang on. That has to be down for this door to close. Fantastic. But yeah, I really like that. That is going to look good once it's all cleaned up and polished. And I can't wait to give some full house demos on that because I think it's going to go really well. The um, bag full check indicator bar across here, that was working as well when I tested it. So yeah, CV770D, we will give this a go. Right, so what I'm going to do now is pick the vacuum that we're going to take a quick look at and a quick work on today and uh, we'll move on so yes my main machine for today is going to be this hoover senior deluxe <clears throat> or hoover deluxe or hoover ranger or whatever it's called i have got a lovely 10 meters of new cord for it which is in white and it's going to have a quick polish if we take a look underneath we will see it is in good condition it just needs a little bit of a wipe over on it the belt and everything on it is fine if I turn it upside down open this for you there's the belt yeah that's in the right way just making sure yes it is um, this is the Hoover model U4002 400 600 watts because once you put the tool in the back that will increase the speed on it and it is in very very good condition like i said it just needs a little bit of a polish up and a tlc um, i'm not going to be stripping this apart because it doesn't need it it just needs a polish and i can get using it because i love this machine whoops whoa and over she goes so let's plug it in let's make sure i got a bag first of all i'm sure i have Yes, I've got a fleecy bag in there. No dirt in there because I have not used it yet. Cord release, look at that. Very posh for it today. Plug it in and see what it's pulling wattage-wise. Now, I can't remember if it needs a light bulb. This is an agitation beast. Let me put it down on the floor.
absolutely fantastic. I adore this machine. I absolutely love it, but it does need a little bit of a polishing TLC on it. There are some scratches to the pole, but we're gonna put that down to patina and we're just gonna give it a little waxy, waxy, wipey, wipey. But I do want to put this um, 10 meter white cord on it because it needs a new cord. And I thought, well, do you know what? I may as well put a white cord on there. I may as well make it 10 meters because then I can use it because I love to use this machine or I will love to use this machine. So that's what I am going to do. It's had a replacement hook on the bottom because that was broken, but I don't care. Just needs a little bit of a clean in here, a little bit of a clean underneath and we will have it running. So first thing I have to do is to remove the bag. So I will take it off the top here, pull this across and that just slides out. Very, very easy. That is all clean, by the way. Uh, oh, I didn't check what it was pulling. Hang on. So that was pulling 407 watts. Let's unplug it. And what I'm going to do is get my tools and I'm just gonna snip it off here goodbye and pull the cord out simple as so I will uh, it's not a special plug in any way but I will reuse this plug because um, it's old so I'll use the plug with it pop that down there so the bumper on it, these bumpers are a nightmare because you can't take them off because they are um, riveted in. So I'd have to drill the rivets to get it off, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to remove it like so and just clean around it this way if I turn there. There we go. I'll just work on it like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get you guys a little bit closer so we can have a look and see inside here for changing the wire on it. So changing the wire on this, is a it's pretty simple to do. It's not that complicated, even for me. I am gonna remove the handle. Like so. It just makes it easier it's out of my way. Let's get that screw off. There we go. I'm just going to pop that to one side. And the, put that there. Now this is the panel that we have to take off. So this is a Phillips screws. Like so. Just remove this panel. And then you can see all the gubbins then are inside of this. It's a bit manky, let me get a cloth. Just remove, look at that, there's a lot of dirt in there. Oops. Give this a bit of a clean up. And while I'm there, I'll clean this. I just love this old machine. I love these Rangers. Amazing agitation on them. Really, really lovely machines. I do like them. Right. That's nice and clean. I'm just going to give this wire a wipe around here while I'm at it. I'm just going to give this a wipe over as well because this is dusty. There we go. 
just a little clean. Here we have the uh, cover, the wire protector. Take this off. Pop that to one side. And here you can see where the wires go, brown on that side, blue on that side. So before I actually do that, what's that come off? I don't know. I'll leave that there. Um, I've got my new two core wire here. And I am going to strip the wires. Nice and easy. Strip a bit more actually. Strip this. I love this wire strippers. It wasn't expensive, but it's just so quick. It's wonderful. I'm going to twist these wires around. So we'll have the blue one, which is closest to the um, to the main wire. So let's undo these. And then the brown wire there. Like so. Just make sure that that is. Yep, that's fine. So I'm going to do exactly like I like on the on the previous one. I'm just going to wrap the wires around it, like so. back in and now the brown one just get it in the right place would help go now I need to put this wire grip back on Just looking for the other one, that'll do. I'll just finish these off manually. There we go. And that fits back in there. That fits on there, the wire goes through. Two screws. So I just want to make sure I've done that right now.
Yeah. I just had that doubting feeling that I put the blue on the other side, but I hadn't, it's right. And there we go, we have now rewired it. So let's get rid of all my wasty bits. Let's just move the tools out the way for now. And voila. 10 meters of nice white cord on it. It's kind of flat as well, and it's kind of, it's not, it's, I don't know, it's just nice cord, I've used it before. So there we go, that is how we have rewired it. What I need to do now is just give it a bit of a clean. So I'm just gonna reposition the camera and we'll give it a bit of a clean up. So what I wanna do to this, I wanna take the cover off it, which is very simple. There's two screws here. One here, and if I remember, it's this one. Take this off. And what you will see will surprise you. this is basically as you can see the old-fashioned Hoover senior with a different cover so they didn't bother replacing the chassis on this they still kept it to the old design so technically you could clean this up and paint it you can see that I've put in an LED bulb before so I have opened this up before and I have put in an LED bulb there's the suppressor this does need a clean, but yes, I've put in an LED bulb. So, let's vacuum this off. So what I'm going to do, hang on a sec, get this cable, oh, actually I'll just leave it there, but that's all I want to do is give it a wipe over, so I'll put these two screws over here, so what I'm going to do is clean the inside of this, clean the inside of this, give it a bit of a wipe over underneath and put it all back together in fast forward. So there we go, that looks nice and clean now. You've had a look at the inside. I've cleaned it inside and out. Next, what I need to do is give it a polish. So again, I'll do that in fast forward.
Okay, so we have this all polished. Now, I did have a slight accident with it, which is something that we were discussing with, um, with Sam. The edge of this caught across the front of this lens. Now, I'm going to leave it as it is. And when Sam is up, we will take a look at it together and uh, I will ask him to help sort it out. It's an, it happens sometimes. I've been quite lucky. I took my eye off the blooming sponge for a second while I was doing that. And unfortunately, it scratched it. Never mind. It's all fixable. This now looks so shiny. It looks amazing. So the only thing I've got left to do now is to put some wax on it. So let me get a pad. And I'm gonna put some... of this, which is some wax. this over it. This is dodo juice. So I'm going to rub this all over it and we will leave it to dry for a minute. it off right that'll do it's gonna leave that now for a few minutes to dry and I'll use the pad with the buffer there we go and then we will buff it off. So the wax is now lovely and dry. I'm just gonna buff it off now. And that looks fantastic and shiny. As I normally do, I don't go down deep enough to remove the um, deep scratches on it, but it certainly does give it a really nice shine. There we go. That's looking lovely. Let's sort out the bump bar. Hang on a sec. Turn this around and flip the bumper back on it. Almost. There we go. There we go, that's the bumper back on. Now, let's sort out the handle and the cable. So I've already given the, can the handle a bit of a clean up. Let's get the screws back in. I basically just wiped it down and give it a little bit of a wax. back over and just screw this back on there we go so what I need to do now is thread the cable 
through this. There we go. Oh gosh. Hang on, I have to put it back so it's turned into spaghetti in a second. I don't know what I did to this. Okay, there we go. Now, let me feed it back through again. Come on. You went through once, you can go through again. There we go. There we go, that's the cable through, now I want to put the plug on. So I'm going to put this old plug back onto it. And I can use this then to measure it. Yep, that's fine. Twist these up a bit just to make them easier for going in. Okay, push that in, put the fuse back on, tighten it up. Put these back on. Put the plug back together. Where's me, Phillips? Where's my Phillips screwdriver? It's going to 
finish off tightening the wires by hand. There we go. Just make sure there we go, that is all fine. Move the tools. Now let's plug it in. And let's just switch it on. Excellent. That's working very well. Now, when it came to doing this, the sponge seal on this had practically perished away, so it was allowing dirt to escape into the machine and out of the bag. So what I did was, you know, my sticky rubber pad, I cut a slither, removed the old one, and then just fitted that into its place. So now it's got a nice seal on it, which will fit. There we go. That'll seal it nice and tight. And there we go. Now we have the new cable on it. It is lovely and shiny. I just need to put the base plate back onto it. Like so. Now let me turn it around. go done now I think the next thing we need to do is now get it on the ground and have a little go of it have a little test see how it does okay so there we go we're pointing down at the ground and if I zoom in let's take a look at the agitation Okay, so I don't know if you saw that, I certainly did, that that was really, really good. It left its uh, line of shame in the middle where the belt is, that happens to all of them, but it did a really good job. If I zoom in again, you will see that it's removed practically all of the sand that was on the surface of the carpet. So let me just finish off cleaning up this mess. Okay, let's just give it a quick push around just to clean up the rest of the garage.
So there we go, my little whippersnappers. That is a quick look of the vacuums over the past week that I obtained, uh, were given, <laughs> gratefully from Sam from Beko1987 and also from Rob and Paul. Uh, this now looks much better. It is basically finished. It can now go upstairs into the Hoover room and then be used by myself because I do love this. I'll do a full house demo. Um, coming up very soon. I've got a number of them. I've I've got more vacuums and I have dirt on the carpets to do the tests with so I will uh, do the tests on these the full house demos and now with a nice 10 meter cord it will be lovely to use because it'll be able to stretch from room to room and I won't have to unplug it which will be really nice. So I hope you've enjoyed this first look and also this quick restoration of this old Hoover Ranger Senior whatever and uh, I'll see you all in the next video so don't forget to comment like and subscribe to below for more videos uh, hit the bell notification and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon bye